Okay, change my coat. Uh, we're gonna have to walk. Uh, we're gonna have to walk. I have a feeling, I've been thinking just while I was getting changed so quick, I'm sure I have left the bike at the, uh, at the yard where we're working, so hopefully it's still there. I, I potentially, I might have left it in the back of the van, uh, in that transit, that white transit van that we were using. I can't quite remember, but um, there's been a couple more people walk up and stop and look at this, so um, it doesn't look like it's leaking anything more. It looks like it's kind of stopped about there, but I'm assuming they're definitely feeding back to the person who lives in that house. And, um, you know, I do hope he's understanding. I've popped a little note into the windscreen there just to apologise and say he's just breaking down and I will fix it. But, I mean, we've been here for two or three days now and they've not once driven any vehicle around here or opened those gates. So, um, I think it would be a bit much if there's too much of a problem. Um, but anyway, let's head on back. We're going to have to walk. We'll head to the yard. Um, get a bike, potentially. Um, and, well, what time are we at now? It's about quarter to 11. On the way, I think, we've got to go back to the dealership just after lunch to uh, collect whatever it is that, that is replacing the aggro star, the damaged one. Oh, they're quite nice. Let me cross. Let's walk through here. So, yeah, what's uh, whatever it is that's replacing the aggro star, we need to we need to pick up. If we ride a bike there, we potentially won't be able to get the bike back. Um, so I'm not too sure what we're going to do. I'm not sure if uh, maybe walking might be the safest option. But this is quite a nice little uh, pond. It's quite a nice, nice clear water. Um, <laughs> we haven't actually uh, managed to shower for three days, maybe four days now, which, you know, I'm not going to lie, is a little bit disgusting. So, um, um, we ain't going to be able to shower either, by the way. But I think if we come here early in the morning, we can get away with jumping in there. Uh, and there's no houses around here. And I can't imagine any of these farmers are going to be working that early. The only house I've got to worry about is uh, our neighbours, who uh, potentially may not want to speak to us anyway after they uh, notice what we've dumped outside of their garage. Um, but anyway, right, let's try not to walk across uh, anyone's fields. I can't quite tell what these are growing here. I'm assuming they just looks like grass to me. But I won't walk across it either way. Let's walk across this little middle section here. So uh, I'll carry on walking and uh, I'll see you there in a second. Okay, just checked in with the boss. Uh, it took us half an hour or so to walk here, but it wasn't too bad. Um, we were stopping and sightseeing all the way here. Um, on the way through, the bike is in the other yard, by the way. It's not in the van. I must have taken it out, but it is next to it. So we're going to jump on the bike. Uh, it's quarter past 11. Dealerships said be there for after lunch. Uh, so on the way, I'm just going to pop into the shop, um, just potentially get a new quilt, new pillowcase maybe for our uh, new sleeping accommodation, uh, which would be great. Uh, and I might have a look and see if they've got a cheap socket set. Um, I can't imagine, I mean, I don't want to be sleeping in that van tonight if I cannot get it moved from outside their garage because I, I think that's just rude so uh, I think it may be another night tonight where we have to sleep in the tent but hopefully that is the last night we have to sleep in the tent but we will uh, see what we can do anyway so we got about an hour get ourselves some lunch while we're there and uh, try and pick up a cheap socket set maybe we'll uh, skip getting the uh, the pillow and quilts and things for now just until hopefully the van's running because I don't know how we're going to carry that home especially when we have to go and pick something up from the dealership and I don't even know what it is it might be that dirty old tractor that we dropped off and I don't want to put a new quilt over that so let's pop to the shop I'm going to make some inquiries as well just while we're there so I noticed that the, uh, the big shop building the end offices which were, were up some steps um, I believe that was like their equivalent to like a council office. Uh, I don't know what they call it over here, but uh, I just want to make some inquiries just, just about my land. Um, 
just to know what I can do, uh, what restrictions there are, because um, of course we've got a huge electrical pylon right in the middle of it. So I don't know if that devalues the land. I don't know if that means we can't build in certain areas. Uh, we do want to start planning ahead really to see what we can do. That van will see us through for the next couple of months, but that's still not the uh, ultimate goal. We need somewhere to live. So uh, as usual, I won't park it in a parking space just so I don't risk that ticket, man. Um, we'll just pop it inside the field there. That's fine. So yeah, I think we've been here before. That's the shop there. I might even get an ice cream today. Um, oh, what have they got? It's quite a good selection. But yeah, it seems to be up here. Um, so this, I believe, is some form of office. So I'm just going to pop in there. Just knock on the door. And I'll uh, catch you again in a moment. Okay, took a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, it's now just gone dinner time. Uh, however, made some inquiries. So yes, they believe there are some restrictions because of the pylon. So uh, in the area which has the trees around it, uh, no restrictions to chop down trees. There, there's no laws against that in this area. Uh, and they're not big established trees anyway, so they're fine. So we can go ahead like normal. But what we can't do is build in that area um, because of uh, its access. Now, although it is our land, there is a potential they, they will need to get access should anything ever go wrong, which, which is unlikely, but I understand it. Um, now, I did ask because I know in the UK there's a couple of little loopholes you can get around planning permissions and where you're allowed to build things and um, I did just kind of drop it in there that if I went for a, a wooden structure would that apply under the same rules um, he, he didn't didn't really give me an answer he just said that um, there, you, you shouldn't build around there but he did also smirk at the same time so um, I'm pretty certain if it's a similar kind of law we can build wooden structures so um, essentially a big shed a big garden shed um, so whether or not we can push our luck and get some form of little log cabin or something that's something that we can look into but for a minute as we want to expand and build the yard we will more than likely have to build into one of the fields um, probably the field nearer the top I would imagine but we'll have to see how we go um, but yeah, that gives us a good idea. Now, the dealership did say to get there just after lunch. Um, I don't think it was strict time. So I've mentioned just about you know who, who maintains this this kind of field area, this play area, because it, it's pretty awful. Um, and I've driven past three times now, and I've never seen that mower move. Um, so they currently don't have anyone, uh, essentially. So the person, the, the groundskeeper, uh, he's retired. Uh, this kind of area there's not a, an affluent amount of people so they just don't have anyone and they've just kind of left it so the grass is really long uh, it doesn't look as nice as it should do um, and they have said look you know if you if you want something to do and you need a little bit of extra money that if I can uh, regularly come and just give this a cut and a trim they would actually pay a hundred pound to do the job now that, I mean that's that's pretty good money it's probably a couple of hours of work um, so the keys are in the ignition they don't seem to be worried about things being stolen around here but I guess everyone knows everyone but he said yeah just uh, jump on maintain the area and uh, they'll pay me for it so to be honest I see how far we get I reckon we can get another cheeky hour before we head to the dealership and uh, I quite like the idea of using this that looks quite fun so let's uh, let's cut some grass, see if we can earn ourselves just a little top up money. Uh, that may pay for the chainsaw that we were supposed to have got yesterday. So let's jump on here a minute. I've known a lot of grass before, but I've never used one of these. I've always seen them on videos and things, but never actually used one. So let's, uh, do I have to activate? Is there a lever here somewhere? Oh yeah, let's press that lever. Brilliant, I can see the blade spinning. So, let's uh, cut some grass. 
now. Are we going to have to go and pick this grass back up? Yes, we are. Which is a little bit frustrating, but we'll have to. I did notice there's like a cart over there, like a wheelbarrow type thing, so that's going to make the job a little bit longer. I wonder if there's a setting where we can change this to mulching. Let me have a look, I won't be a moment. Okay, no, there isn't. It doesn't have the right kind of blades, I guess, to do it, so. Um, Let's just go around. That's fine. We can uh, we can pick that up if uh, we get get a bit carried away on the time. We can always come back and do that once we've uh, done our actual main employment. So uh, right now I'm not quite used to this, so I'm a little bit jerky on it. But let's go around, chop up the outside. I want to do a, a decent job. I try not to chop too many of the little bushes. Try and get as close as I can to the benches. Just managed to get under that one, which is good. It's very smoky. It's very smoky. A bit like that yellow tractor, I'd like to say it's because they haven't had anyone here available to use it for a while, but that is very, very smoky actually. It seems to be doing a good job though. It seems to be doing a really good job. It's obviously a, a good mower. It's probably quite expensive in the day when it was brand new, I would imagine it was expensive. fit in that gap. That's fine. The thing is it seems to uh, shoot the grass all out of the right hand side there so at least it's all going to be in uh, kind of one long pile rather than everywhere so I'm sure that won't take us too long to pick all of that up. Let's see if I can just cut these weeds away as well. How close can I get to that? Let's try and do it without uh, actually hitting it. That would be good. Let's just get back a little bit. Oh, I just tapped the leg then. That's fine, I'm sure they didn't notice that. Okay, it looks better already. This looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to pop the camera down for a minute. Just finished cutting this area, just to earn ourselves a little bit of pocket money. So I will catch you again in a while. good actually so I mean if I try and cut behind there I'm going to cut all of those bushes away so I'm quite happy with that I'll, um, I'll trim these few little bits up by hand in a moment um, pretty good 
I am going to have to uh, knock on the door, let them know I've done it, and just say to them, it's probably worth them buying like a strimmer, because areas like around the poles and things, I'm not always going to be able to get close to. You know, I'm probably going to damage that kid's slide if I try and go there. So I am just going to mention to them, I mean, I, I can't imagine they don't already have one, to be honest with you, but um, the reason I've just stopped there quickly is because this area that like, I've just uh, tried to cut here is obviously very boggy, so note for next time, use a strimmer in this area, don't try and use this, because I can't get it out. Um, I can't get it out at all, and I'm just going to see if I can help it along a little bit. See if I can try and push it out of the way because I should be able to push it lovely would that have unstuck it just this last little bit of grass to go as well and I go and get it stuck um, this is a bit of a pain Let's just shut off the blades though a minute, see if it gives me more power in the wheels. Hmm. Yes, definitely. Note for next time. Do not drive in this section. Alright, anyway, I'll finish this. I'll catch you again in a moment. Okay, there we go. Let's pop that back. Right, so I've just finished the job off, just been around and collected some of that loose grass. But it's alright. So, I have uh, just quickly popped upstairs uh, and just mentioned to them I've done it. They had a look out the window, out the balcony there, pretty happy. Um, they thought they had a strimmer, but they're not too sure. Um, and they wonder if maybe the guy that did all that, I've missed a bit there. Uh, the guy that did all the work maybe he just used his own for all those years. So. They're going to sort one out, they'll have to order one in, um, probably from the dealership to be honest with you, but that's fine, as long as they get one and have it here ready for next time, then we can do a bit of a better job around the benches, but to be honest, pretty good, that looks a heck of a lot better, um, definitely, so, um, I didn't go and get the £100, right, just going to run back upstairs a minute, um, I won't jump over the fence this time. Run back upstairs a minute and just get me my hundred pounds. I won't be a second. All right, there we go. Brilliant. Just giving me a hundred pounds. That was a pretty easy hundred pound, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm very very glad of that. So, thank you very much. And we've made some progress today. So at least we know that we can chop down a few trees without any hassle. Um, and we know that we are going to have to play the game just a little bit to uh, have some form of buildings. Uh, I would like to, at some point. I mean, I don't, I don't know locally where you can go, but I would like to go somewhere and have a look at some wooden sheds because it'd be nice to be able to park that van under a shelter just in case it does have a few little holes up here. It's got plenty of rust. Um, so yeah, I would. Uh, I would definitely like to be able to put it under shelter uh, just for the next few months and uh, to get us through this snow, which seems quite common. So, um, the uh, the officers did say if we're ever looking for work, one of the shops here, not the one that we've used before, but one of the shops here, um, around Christmas time they get extremely busy. So they they produce a lot of food, they deliver it around to some of the kind of local areas local being you know a couple of hour drive um around christmas time cheeses and things like that uh, also cakes and things that they bake so um yeah if we're ever stuck and we need some work and that's good to bear in mind really so that looks like one of their delivery vehicles there so we'll have a chat with them i think not right now uh because it is half one and uh, we do have to go and see what what we're picking up, what our new implement is going to be. So let's head on down to there. But yeah, if uh, once we've done this last field, the uh, sunflowers, if she's no more work for us, then let's just do a little bit of delivering. Let's get get to know the surrounding area. A couple of hour drive isn't even that far away, to be honest with you. Um, that's quite standard back in the UK if you want to get from one place to another, where I'm from. 
Uh, so I'm quite happy with that, no problem. All right, let's get on our bike. Make sure there's no cars coming. Brilliant, right. What are we going to collect from this dealership? I wonder. It's a new Holland dealership, so I would imagine they've uh, they've either replaced it. They I did see they have two more of those Agro Stars there, so it's possible actually they they've just done a like like swap on a a different version. Um, I mean, hopefully they they've not said it's down to misuse because certainly since I've been using the Agro Star, it's it's been you know well looked after. I've not done anything too strenuous with it. Uh, you know we we've spread some manure and then we've pulled a trailer and that that's about it. So. Uh, I'm not too sure what the other chap had, had ever used it for, but she doesn't have the kind of equipment that's going to cause it any damage. So I do hope for her sake they haven't tried to get out of their warranty um, and uh, have been a little bit helpful. Um, obviously, the more helpful they are to her, the less money she spends, therefore, the more money she can pay us. So selfishly, I do hope they're looking after her, definitely. Um, now, I don't know if you're noticing this, but you know, I've, I've got quite far and I haven't fallen off the bike, so um, the amount of concentration needed just to make sure I don't do it now that I've said that uh, is incredible. But anyway, we're not here, I'm not going to fall off it now. See, I told you. Right, I'm going to pop him. Just uh, find out what the deal is. Obviously, I don't have the ability to phone her. Uh, that is something we need to look at. We need to look at getting a phone. Uh, but for a minute, uh, let's just uh, head into the dealership. And uh, yeah, I'll be back shortly with hopefully a new ride. Okay, it is a new ride. Uh, and it is a brand new ride. So I'm quite excited. So I have the keys. I didn't have to do anything. Just signed a bit of paper just to, to confirm that someone had collected it. Um, and it is not one of those. It's also not a New Holland. It is, in fact, this. Which just looks fantastic. I can remember day one when we first got here having a look at this. Um, and it was wishful thinking, but it is absolutely brand new. I don't think it's the newest model. But it is brand new. No, no one has used this. Um, it looks fantastic. It looks great, and it is hours to work in. Be careful how I said that. So let's jump up. Look at all of this. This is nice. Brand new. Absolutely great. Which means, unlike most of the vehicles we drive, it's going to start up first time that's brilliant I like it I like it I like it so much that I'm just gonna abandon the bike there we'll uh, we'll worry about that another time so for a minute I'm not gonna worry about that chainsaw because we've got some other issues that we need to sort uh, I was just at the shop area and I did not go in and buy a socket set so I need to do that right now. So we'll pull back over again, um, get a little socket set because we really need to sort out that uh, van because I can't be dealing with, um, you know, neighbors falling out with us potentially because it's kind of a bit abandoned. Um, so yeah, that wouldn't be very good at all. So we'll just pop back into the shop now. Um, I reckon I can run in and out, so I'm going to park it in the car park, but hopefully I can get away with not doing a ticket. I won't be any more than five minutes. Uh, to be honest, I've never actually seen someone checking the, the tickets anyway, so I think we can get away with it. I can't imagine it will go down very well, though, if I uh, get a ticket in a new tractor after about 20 minutes of owning it. Um, so we better be careful. But sure it'll be fine. All right, let's just pull into one of these spaces here. This is very smooth to drive. I like that. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. Okay, right, let's just pop into this shop. 
I'll run so we don't get a ticket and I'll catch you again in a moment. Okay, there we go. Just cost us 30 quid, uh, but that ain't bad to be honest with you. They threw the oil in the filter in with the, the deal and we also got it a couple hundred quid cheaper than what they said. So uh, they were just glad to get rid of that van, I think. But yeah, not bad. So let's head back now. Um, obviously we need to drop the tractor off and then we are going to have to walk home. Um, but that's fine. I don't think the fields are going to be ready to harvest. I doubt they've dried from that little uh, brief rain spell that we've had. So I would imagine we're just going to get the rest of the afternoon off. Uh, just call it an early day. She's paid us for what we've done. Um, I don't know if we're going to get any wages for what we've done today. But I'm pretty sure that would be in uh, next month's pay if uh, we're still here doing stuff. So right, let's... Uh, park that up, we'll park it up around the corner and we'll let know that we're here and I'm sure she'll come out and have a look at that someone's already having a look at it right, let's go let her know we're here get her to come out Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate that. That was great. That's really nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for all the work you've given me so far. Thanks for doing me the, the Sunday lunch. That was great. Um, I'm going to head off now. Um, it is starting to get dark, and I do have to try and do a little bit of maintenance on a vehicle I just bought. So, um, I'll leave you to it. The tractor is over there. I know you've had a peek out the window, but um, here's the keys, and maybe I'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Okay, so that, that was a nice little surprise. Uh, it is Sunday today, and she had a nice set uh, chicken cooking in the oven. So I've just stayed in there. I, I, I've lost track of time, if I'm honest. Uh, I've spent a good couple of hours in there, a couple of glasses of champagne. I'm glad I'm walking home. Uh, I am a little bit of a lightweight. So uh, yeah, a bit carried away. Um, but there's still a little bit of daylight, um, so hopefully uh, I can get back and still do a little bit of work on that van. I do certainly hope so, uh, before any more of the neighbours see anyway. Um, right, let's make sure there's no cars coming. He's letting us cross. They're quite considerate around here. Oh, don't want to fall into that. Quite considerate around here. They do let you cross. Quite nice people. So far, everyone I've met is nice which is great. Okay, nearly home. Just a little bit of a walk home then. I can't walk the fastest at the minute after falling off that bike so many times. It is a bit sore. Um, and we are starting to lose some daylight, if I'm honest with you. Um, yeah, but hopefully all's all right around here anyway. Well, it's still there. Doesn't look like it's leaked anymore. Oh, who's this? Yeah, nice one, mate. So you spent so long having a moan about it, and now it's almost completely dark, and I can't fix it and move it. So, but you're you're taking the the blame for that one, mate. That was not my problem. And uh, yeah, it, you know, it was an accident. I can't really help the fact that it broke down. I put a little note in there. I think you're you're a little bit ridiculous, if I'm honest with you. Um, so you're just going to have to deal with it now because I can't be bothered with it. Uh, Serves you right. It's going to stay there till the morning. So, uh, tough. Wow. So, uh, I'm guessing that's my neighbour's son. Um, maybe maybe the neighbour's a bit annoyed because uh, I nearly ran him over earlier on. I'm not too sure. But his son's got an attitude problem and I ain't having it. And I put a nice little note in there. It is what it is. They haven't used it. They they haven't used. Um, to be honest, the the locks on that gate don't look like they've used it for years. So, it seems like they're the kind of people who just want an argument. I was only just saying everyone I met so far is quite nice, but nah, not these people. So, uh, do you know what? I'm just going to be awkward on purpose now. I couldn't really care less. Uh, and it is too dark to do it. So, they're just going to have to deal with it. It's going to have to stay there until the morning. If I start that now and start opening up. Uh, or you'll some 
plugs and things like that at this time of the night. Who knows what's going to crawl up into the engine uh, unless I finish it. So um, I'm a bit annoyed now, if I'm honest with you. So I'm going to, I'm certainly not going to stay in there because part of me is wondering if they're going to do something to it overnight. Uh, so I'm just going to squeeze back into that tent. This, this I'm certain is going to be the last night in the tent. Um, get that fixed in the morning. She didn't ask us to go back tomorrow. Um, so we're, we're going to take a day off tomorrow. We, we've been working today on a Sunday anyway, and we've had a nice uh, lunch out of it. So I guess that's kind of paid our way for the day. So we'll have a day off tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, get that fixed in the morning. So I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.